Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character who is female, elderly, and has total respect by Darkseid. And of course, we're talking about Granny Goodness. Now the publisher is DC Comics, with the first appearance being Mr. Miracle number 2 of May 1971. And this character is exclusively created by none other than Jack Kirby himself. Granny Goodness did not begin as one of the higher level residents of Apocalypse, the planet body that Darkseid rules, but was instead one of the, quote, lowlies, which is the brutally oppressed peasant class. Now, she was removed from her parents and trained to be one of Darkseid's, quote unquote, hounds, and these hounds are his elite soldiers. Now, one part of their training was to train their war dogs, and Goodness named hers Mercy. Through combat and training, the two bonded very closely, and as a final step of her initiation into the life of a hound, she was told to unalive her beloved pet. Now, instead, she unalived her trainer for ordering this nasty order. Now, when Darkseid asked her why, she answered that, to have done otherwise would have robbed my lord of a most valuable asset, telling him that mercy would obey her first, but him foremost. Now testing this, Darkseid orders mercy to unalive Granny Goodness herself. Now mercy attacks Goodness, forcing Goodness to unalive her pet. Now Darkseid was very impressed by this, telling Goodness that she had graduated and not only graduated, graduated with honors. Darkseid goes on to say that she had trained Mercy so well in his name that perhaps one day she'll do as well training others whose blind obedience he will one day require. Now later on, Darkseid has goodness run the training facility for his elite soldiers, where she is used for brainwashing and torture. Now, in a brutal parody of child care, quote-unquote child care, to turn the innocent into a fanatical warrior willing to unalive or die for Darkseid's glory, Granny Goodness would teach them to do just that. Since the war between Apocalypse and the other planet body New Genesis first moved to Earth, Granny Goodness often runs through earthly orphanages looking for potential warriors for Darkseid. Now, Granny runs these quote-unquote orphanages on Apocalypse and is the chief of the female Furies. She also raised none other than Scott Free, the son of High Father of New Genesis, who had been traded for Darkseid's son as part of a peace brokerage. Now, Scott Free a.k.a. Mr. Miracle, becomes the first child to successfully escape one of her orphanages. Now, in the final issue of the Amazon's Attack miniseries, it was revealed that Granny Goodness has been posing as Athena, having manipulated the Amazons into war. She tells Hippolyta that it was a test which all of the Amazons failed. It also appears that Goodness was posing as Athena in the Countdown series, using Amazon centers to recruit new female fighters. She also held the Gods of Olympus prisoner. Now, after the gods are freed by Mary Marvel, Holly Robinson, and Harley Quinn, Granny is attacked and unalived by Infinity Man. As a result of this, she is reincarnated on Earth, along with other evil gods and as a member of Boss Dark Side's gang. Although this form is destroyed by Black Alice in an issue of Birds of Prey, in the quote, Final Crisis storyline, she takes the body of the Alpha Lantern known as Kraken and uses it to attack Jon Stewart and frame Hal Jordan for the assault. Now while she is discovered by Batman, she easily overpowers him and brings him back to the evil factory beneath Bludhaven, where she is sealed inside a torture device. Now later, Reverend Good announces that Granny Goodness is poised to conquer Oa from within in the name of Darkseid, which would immediately and most likely reestablish her as his favorite among all of the elite. 
Now, Granny's attempted assault on the power structure of Oa results in an injury to a guardian, the clearing of Hal Jordan's name, and the hiding of the power battery, and a Green Lantern assault force sent to Earth. After she is stopped by Hal Jordan, she's taken away to be inspected. Now, her fate after the final Crisis storyline is left unknown. Now, the powers and abilities of this character is that Granny Goodness is functionally immortal. She has superhuman strength as well as endurance. She's surprisingly robust considering her age. Now, she can still lift several tons with ease, and she is resistant to most forms of physical attack. Now, in her youth, she was one of the best and most loyal warriors in the service of Darkseid. As a member of Darkseid's elite, Granny Goodness has access to highly advanced weaponry, and in combat, she usually welds a mega rod. In addition, she is a great leader and military strategist that commands soldiers being trained at her orphanages, including flight troops who ride on flying arrow discs, armored infantry, and members of the Special Powers Force who wield deadly weapons and who, in many cases, possess superpowers. Among her most relevant pupils are Mr. Miracle, Big Barda, Kanto, Veerman, Wunderbar, and the Female Furies. Now we really like this type of character because it is a twisted symbolism, a monstrous feminine ideology who basically violates traditional paradigms of what motherhood and femininity might actually be. Now through her wickedness, we see actually the reversal of what nurturing depictions of motherhood in fiction should be. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful night, a great evening, a good morning, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. Also, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video, as well as maybe write down below what character you would like to have us talk about on this channel, and we'll see if we can't make it happen. As always, Excelsior.